at another time that we want to celebrate the Easter. Easter is a very solemn time for the Christian uh, nations because uh, this is a time and the beginning of our Christianity. It is a place where we we had the uh, the the Old Testament being replaced by the New Testament. Our Lord Jesus Christ went through very many events, very many challenges for Easter to be a celebration. At first, we find uh, Jesus Christ's story is taught in the book of John in the Synoptic Gospels, where Jesus starts with, uh, with, a, with, a, with, with, with being anointed. People plotted to kill Jesus. He was anointed. And then he went through betrayal. He went uh, through denial. He went to the Gethsemane. He cried blood well, praying and uh, wanting to give us our, our, our breakthroughs. And you know, as you may know, that this is going to be a time of celebration. But before I can even touch about celebration, I would like to wish you, to wish you a happy Easter because this is a time that Christians want to celebrate. We want to celebrate the death and resurrection. It is a time where the Christian know that they, they, they are a new creation. They know that uh, they have eternal life. They know that their burdens were carried and they were put on the cross. On their way to Gethsemane, we find Jesus, he would have the disciples and they would sleep. He would come and wake them to pray. And many of us, I'm very sure, we have been going through all these tough times. You have been betrayed. You have had um, challenges where you prayed and the prayers seemed not to be uh, answered. But let me tell you, there was triumphant entry. He entered in triumph. And even after all the triumph and the celebration and the joy, he had to go through death and to come out of death because every person must understand that uh, Easter is not just a celebration of the life of Jesus Christ. It's also a celebration of the path that he had to go through, the pain, the struggles, and he came out triumphant. When he died on the cross to save all of us, to heal all of us, and to take all our sins away, and to change our uh, our 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 our, uh, uh, our status, so that we can be called the children of God. And so today, as and so today, as you go to celebrate, know that in the celebration you must remember those who may be feeling rejected. Jesus was rejected. Go to the widows. Go to the orphans. Go to the people living with disabilities. Just give them a time where they can be able to celebrate. Give them some food, just take them some clothing. Just go and spend time with your parents. Because you see, at, at the end of the day, they all, when Jesus was on the cross, the next thing you hear, he's talking to John and he's telling, this is my mother, just take her and take care of, of her. Therefore, Easter is a celebration of parenthood. You must make sure that uh, you make you 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 celebrate your your parents. You take care if you have not visited them, visit them. If you have not called them in a while, you have not uh, you have not even been able to give them some money. Send them. Let them still celebrate with you. I also wish that as you are going to every destination to celebrate your Easter, make sure that. Uh, you 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 are responsible. Fathers, I pray that you will take care of your children. If your husbands, you will take care of your wives. Wives, you will love your uh, your husbands and make sure that this time you'll be uh, an Easter, uh, uh, that we will be able to commemorate and celebrate all together as family. To the family of, of Jesus Christ, to the every church, I wish you uh, a happy Easter. And uh, may we celebrate it with knowledge and understanding. May we open our doors to those who are uh, uh, who who have no food. Let them come to the church and let them come to the house of their God and be able to uh, to celebrate Easter in style. And 